Welcome back. This is part two of how to manage your inventory. For this video, we'll be focusing on how to automate your deduction by linking your ingredients to your menu items in order for them to auto deduct with your sales. From your back office, go to the menu and click on inventory. Go to link ingredients. Here, you will be directed to a page with all of your menu items. All we have to do now is attach the raw materials by the amount consumed per serving. In order to link ingredients, go to an item and click on a green plus icon. Select the ingredients to be consumed from the drop-down, or you may also type in the item. Say for example, every order of one serving of calamari, it uses 250 grams of squid. Select squid and input the amount in the quantity area. Continuously add until the complete recipe is built. For takeout orders, we may also add the packaging used per order. For merchants who have delivery partners like GrabFood or FoodPanda, ensure to repeat the steps under their respective categories so it may also auto-deduct. And that's it! Let the automation begin! Remember the three conditions. Deducted and current columns will only move if there is number one, recipe in the system, two, cashier punched a sale, and three, if the tablet is online. I'll just quickly make an order for calamari, and automatically, items are deducted. Count is also shown in the deducted column. Current column shows the real-time stock left in your inventory. Remember, you will only see the sixth column if your inventory type is set to ingredients input based. Assumingly, it's closing time and your staff has counted their inventory, they'll input their final count here, and it will automatically reflect in your system under staff input, which you could cross-match for variances. Should you need any help for these, don't hesitate to message us in our Facebook group chat. Happy selling!